baby, me would have there with you. But guess why? Not healthy. Because me know say, un help me, you want I put me laid back. You want load up me, don't play that. <laughs> I'm in such a good mood today. Right. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Aaron Valentine and you're watching Life According to Aaron. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about dating someone or the importance of dating someone who understands your hustle or your grind, right? Like what you're trying to achieve in life. Someone who understands that, right? Now, you find that partners or when you're in a relationship a partner should be someone who essentially helps you to get to a different level in life so you you come together with the joint purpose of you both helping each other to get to a different stage in your lives a, a better stage in your lives right so if it is that you're not dating someone or you're dating someone who doesn't understand that who doesn't understand that you're in a stage in your life right now where you need to save money where you need to enjoy life yes but on a budget where right now you have to devote a lot of time to what you're doing you have to devote a lot of energy to what you're doing you're trying to build something that will last you're trying to build a legacy if you're dating someone who doesn't understand that it's only going to cost you because for example you're in a relationship with someone who they're always partying they always want to go out on the weekend they always want to go to the most expensive places they're they're they don't want to spend all of the time with you. They don't want you to work on your goals or whatever. It's only going to bring you down. You don't enter the relationship with someone. Or you don't enter that journey. You don't you do not do it so that they derail your train. It's so that they make the journey more fun. And they help you navigate your journey and vice versa. You get me? So if it is that you find that you're in a relationship with someone who they're not willing to sacrifice for you they're not willing to grind for you they're not willing to not go out as often they're not willing to save money they're not willing to invest money they're not willing to to do what would contribute to your goals and your dreams and your aspirations and you're in the wrong relationship take more than what your eyes tell you your eyes give you very limited information you find that a lot of people nowadays are more concerned with what they can get in the short term and not what they can build with someone they're not they're not focusing on the legacy that they can build with someone the long term so for example when you see someone right for men they're drawn to what's most revealing skin wise or whatever but then don't be surprised if after some time you find that there's not much more to the woman than what she looks like and same goes for women you're drawn to men who are hype and they're flashy and all of that stuff don't be surprised when there's not much more to their personality or you find that they cheat or they're um, disloyal or, or stuff like that because you're, you took only what your eyes gave you instead of how the person conducted themselves, how they talk to people, how they talk to others, how they interact with people, how they walk, how they present themselves, what, they, what you find that they talk about most frequently. Those are the people. And if it is that you find that your goals and aspirations align with that, then those who are who would make good partners because they would better understand what you're going through and what you're trying to achieve when you identify that and you come together um to form a union right you identify that you're in a stage of your life right now where you have to be sacrificing a lot of things in order to build something in order to build a legacy in order to build something that lasts right a partner should be someone who understands that embraces it and encourages you to reach that next stage of your life if it is that you find that being with this person isn't doing that what it's doing instead is pulling you down more than it is anything else then then that, that might not be the right partner for you but if you find a partner who is willing to while you're working hard then bring you a meal because they know that you haven't eaten or them them snatch your laptop from you because they realize that you've been working so hard and you're stressed and you have been sleeping or this is an extreme but the boat owner for example um you can't spend too much money on expensive food right now the boat owner sharing some sausage or some 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 cup soup or some 
keep things to eat you know still eating but to make sure that you know on a saving money or putting money towards something it's because you're building something you're in that phase where you have to make a lot of sacrifices and your partner identifies that embraces it yeah exactly exactly your partner contributes to that process they don't take away from that process uh, let me let me leave you a few lines from from a song that i thought about when when i thought about writing this or thought about this video it's from bugle no not compatible baby me would have there with you but guess why not healthy because you know say when help me you want i put me laid back you want load up me don't play that it's the same thing if it is that your partner isn't on the same wavelength that they don't share the same mindset or they, they can be completely different you know however they're not supportive of what you're trying to do then you can't think of them as a partner they're just a person to pass the time with or to spend time with they're not going to help you to elevate so if it is that that is what you want then stay in the relationship but if it is that you want someone who would help you to elevate then you might have to end things with that person find a relationship above all else should be a partnership it should be mutual two people who mutually support each other so when you're in a relationship with someone if that is not happening and you're fine with that then stay in it but if it is that you are in a relationship the person that you're with at the very least should be supportive of you if it is that you're entering a relationship for different reasons then you don't need to watch this or you don't need to keep listening but if it is that you're entering in a relationship to find someone to share your life with and to build a life with and these are the qualities that, that, that they should have they should be mindful of the current stage of life that you're in and be supportive of it and you should do the same because it's not one-sided you should identify whether or not you would be good for that person's journey whether or not you would be good for that person's process if not remove yourself from the situation because it helps no one it's selfish above all else so take this moving forward take this piece of advice if you leave this video with nothing else leave with finding a good partner or being with a good partner who understands the stage of life that you're in and that supports it as well that's it for the video guys be sure to like share subscribe all of that good stuff if you liked it and you want to see more make sure that you subscribe so that as soon as a new video drops you'll be the first to see it all right thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one